nine five four three two one. You can hate him for not making that fight happen. But this is an unbiased show. We talk boxing. If it is just some missed details, the Double RT Boxing Show, Mr. A is here to help you because that's what we do. We talk that boxing, spit that fire on the internet, dragging on the net, hashtag dragging on the net. You know, follow me on at Twitter at RRTB Show. Double RT, Double RT, Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A, and this is a post-fight recap. That was about a tough, genuine fight. <clears throat> if you did not see it over the weekend, you know, please go check it out. It is that of the IBF World Female Super Flyweight title. And the newly crowned champion Georgia Lina Jorge Lina Gunini she defeated the 28 and 0 Deborah Dinonikis yes 28 and 0 she defeated that champion gave her, her first loss the scorecards were 96 94 94 96 96 94 a split decision I had the fight a draw, 95-95, but the swing round I did have was round nine. You know, that right there could make a um, 96-94 for the new champion. I have no problem with that. Have no problem with that at all. Um, In my post-fight recap, I thought that the fight went down kind of how we discussed it. Orlina was fast at a tempo that would give Deborah some trouble. But Deborah, being a more technical boxer, she was able to punch right down the middle and get some good action. And that's what the fight was. Now, Orlina pace was fucking fast. Now, what did her good, good work was when she refused just to be quiet in the clinches, she'll clinch and just start hitting and hitting and hitting, hitting over the head, and then they both start hitting in the clinching. I'm gonna say these two women, they, they were sitting on the ropes at plenty of times in the fourth round, just, just going at it. Well, if yeah, these these two people, these two women, these two fighters, they they put a lot of fucking punches. On each other's faces, man. For a woman bout, these two girls were going at it. This is probably one of the, the most competitive women's fights I've seen. It's probably the second, because the first one was Mama Dooch and uh. If you've seen the show, you know how I was. I was getting ready to get that fight of the year. Mama Dooch and um. I can't think of the girl name. The girl who uh, Chantel just beat up. Not, not the little Cuban girl, but the tall one. Tall to older lady. Anyway, these two girls, Deborah and Horlini, Horlina was going at it. So I gave um, Deborah rounds one, two, four, six, and that toss up round of nine I gave to her. You know, I thought Deborah just came at the last minute. I thought she was doing more points. Carlina did some good shots in that round. I just thought more controlling was Deborah. Slightly, slightly. I have no problem if you awarded those, I think, two or three clean shots by Carlina. If you wanted to give her that, those three shots gave her the round, I could understand that one. That, and that would have made it 96 94 with the overall score of the card. The, the, these. It was not a boring moment in this 10-round fight. You had Horlina just putting on pressure, jabbing through the pressure, throwing some hit, some right hooks. And Deborah, she forced Deborah. Like I said, because in the, in the, in the post-fight recap, we discussed how Deborah was to have the quicker feet. She could move around the ring and punch between the, the wild shots. But uh, Horlina put enough pressure to entrap the champion to fight her style. You know, like, 
there was even at moments where um, Deborah could have used the ring, but she just got trapped mentally into like this fight, you know, like she she got put in that she got put in the zone by Harlena, and she was doing good, held her own. It just the pressure. This weekend was a pressure fighter weekend. You had Porter, Canelo, Harlena. It forces the other opponent to have to impress the judges. You know, once one fighter is already putting pressure on, they already get an edge if they're they're doing something. You're, you're you're spending so much time trying to avoid the pressure, move away, move away. You're picking your shots clean, but they're throwing so many shots. Your your few in between clean shots ain't looking as highly as the volume of their throw. They're not looking as welcoming. And that's and that's what, what was happening. Like not only was Horlini Harlena, Harlena landed shots, but when the ones that she wasn't landing, she was just throwing, and it looked like she was like really dictating and controlling the pace, a la Porter, a la Canelo. But this was a great fight. Again, I had it 95-95 with the swing round in round nine. Because if you want to award Harlena the few hard shots she landed and gave her the whole round, I gave it to Deborah because I thought Deborah did the points. And controlled a little of the other, but toward the end, um, like I said, Har Harlina put some shots together. If you want to say that stole the round, no problem with the 96-94 for Harlina to win this belt. You know, I was shocked, but the pressure. You know, going into the post fight, going to the breakdown, we said this girl fights at a pace that is ridiculous. You know, that could give the champ some trouble. Here, here's my thumb to you. Bring it on back to the show. On Twitter at our TV show, go over there, subscribe, follow it, support the show. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Hey, let's get this Double RT Boxing Show up to a thousand subscribers and get this this hot show right here. Get it, get it known, get it known. We talk worldwide boxing, baby. Let's do it.